Hello, my name is Matthew Markwit and welcome to this video tutorial series on how to use Epic's Unreal Engine. This particular series is going to keep things really simple by helping you guys understand such things as downloading the engine, uh, installing it, uh, setting up a project, and basic uh, moving around in the engine itself. Now at any given point you're going to see an outline on the side of the things that I want to talk about. I'll keep those things highlighted. Uh, so that you guys can scrub through the video if needed and kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, but first things first, let's talk about downloading. And downloading the engine is fairly simple and self-explanatory, but I will cover this uh, just the same in case you need a little bit of help. And let's go to unrealengine.com, which is this. Uh, obviously, the articles are going to look a little different, but the interface should feel the same. Uh, it should also be obvious that Get Unreal button over here is how you get Unreal. So let's click on that button. Bring us to this, which is our registration and our sign up. It's free. So just go in there and sign up for this. It will help you keep an account. Uh, if you buy content or do other things, it will allow you to keep all that under your account. Click on I agree to the terms and services and read them uh, and then sign up. Now, because I've already signed up, my stuff is automatically in there. So I'm going to sign in instead and click on sign in. Once you've signed up or signed in, you should see this, which is your Epic Games Launcher. Okay. Now, this is not the same as the Unreal Engine. The launcher is just kind of an interface or user interface to help you download that plus some other things, which we'll talk about in a second. So download it, install it. I don't need to show you guys that. I'm sure you can figure that out. And you can see right here that it says this little Epic Games. That's the icon it looks like. So once you've installed it, click on it. This will open up. Put your information in there. Now, yes, you can go offline if needed, which means you do not need to sign in and you can still access some of the content, uh, but it will not be linked to an account and you will lose some of your features. So uh, anyways, but let's just sign in. So you guys put your information in there, sign in. And uh, as that's kind of loading up, I'm going to go over here because now we're going to start talking about this uh, portion here, which is the installing of the engine itself. So I'll hide that, that content over there as it opens up the Epix Game Launcher. And this is what the Epix Game Launcher looks like. Now your account's going to be over here. You can see I've got some money in my account. Uh, you can set it to be away or you can manage your account. And it'll bring you to a web page that lets you change uh, your address and change all sorts of other things about your account, your password, and so on. You can even sign out here. Um, but what I want to talk about is these tabs. Now, the first and most important tab is the Unreal Engine 4 tab, but I will skip that just for a moment to cover the rest of these and we'll get back to it. Now, Epic likes to promote their other games and other um, content being developed in their engine, and that's what these tabs are for. So Fortnite is actually a game that Epic is building themselves right now. It is an alpha at the time of this video, so you can see content on that. This is Unreal Tournament, or the Unreal Tournament version of the editor. We'll talk more about that a little bit also later. Ark Survival, which is a game that um, I believe uh, is still in uh, early access. Um, but if you want, you can install it, but you do have to purchase the game on Steam. However, you can freely uh, install the editor, uh, lets you uh, develop levels for it and whatever. Uh, there's a heck of a lot of uh, documentation on it, so it might be hard to understand because they do have a modded version of the Unreal 4 engine. Uh, Shadow Complex is a remastered game uh, that you can play for free. Uh, I already have it, so I, I can click on launch, but you can just hit install. And then the last tab here is Paragon, which is uh, Epic's MOBA game, uh, if you're interested in that content. So let's go back to Unreal Engine 4 tab, and we're going to talk about that. So this section right here under the tab, we're going to talk about what these mean. And so we have Community, Learn, Marketplace, and Library. Community uh, just kind of shows what's going on in the community with blogs and wikis and forums and stuff like that, latest news. All right, learning, which is probably one of the more important uh, items here, uh, is great because it gives you the official documentation and, and video tutorials by Epic themselves on how to use the editor. Um, but it also gives you a lot of free content. If you come down here, there's some engine feature samples, and this allows you to see stuff like water planes and open world demos and particle effects and reflections and all sorts of stuff. You can download any of these, and in some cases, you can even use this content in your own uh, levels and games. Um, but uh, you do have to read the, uh, the, the licenses for those if you want to use them. But it's great for backwards engineering. You can load these up. It will give you examples of, of games like, you know, potentially turn-based strategy games, other things like that. So you can kind of see what they're doing and how they did it. So you can apply those same concepts to yourself. So this is where most of the free content can be found.
Then you have the marketplace, which is just like Unity's asset store, where you can buy content uh, that you can use in your games, in your levels. Uh, some of the categories include things like weapons and props, blueprints, which is Unreal's visual scripting system, which we'll talk more about in later videos. Uh, you can also purchase audio, environment content, characters and animations, and so on. So all that content is here. Okay, uh, and then lastly is the library, but most importantly, because this is how you launch your Unreal Engine 4 editor. Now, yours is going to look a little different, but it does break it up into certain things. So now we're going to talk about that, and so I'm going to highlight this section here, because this is the new content that we're going to talk about right here. Okay, and so mine already has the latest version at the time of this video. Yours might be different, but the latest version here is 4.11.2. Um, but yours, yours won't have anything here probably for any of these. Uh, this is content I've downloaded before. This is where your projects will be. I've deleted all of them for this video, so you'll see nothing in there just like yours. But in order to install the engine itself, right, you have to click on this button right here that says Add Engine, or Add Versions, I should say. And this will give you the latest version. Now, because I have this version already, installed that will give me the next latest version yes you can install multiple versions from the past it has them all here so you can have a whole bunch of engines installed at the same time if you need those dependencies you will notice that there is a 4.12 in here which is technically more recent than 4.11 but it is a preview build so very often what happens is when they have a new release coming they'll do preview builds so that people can get ahead of the curve see what the new content is play around with it but it is not guaranteed to be stable once they make a stable version of it they release the official version so at the time of this the most stable version is 4.11.2 and I suggest that you install the most stable version obviously you click the install button to install whatever it is it will take a long time to install Mine is already installed, so you don't have to worry about that. But we'll talk about launching it in a moment. There's one last thing I did want to talk about before we moved on to launching a new project, which you can see is the section down here. And that is going to the Unreal tab and understanding uh, what's in the Unreal tab itself. I want you guys to also install Unreal. Now, it's up to you if you want to install the game itself, and that's under Play. If you click Install here, you can actually play the game itself with levels, with tutorials. I do recommend it because you can kind of see how the levels work and how it will teach you how to play the game. So when you create content for it, um, it will be easier to understand what you're doing. Uh, the Create tab right here is the custom editor. So just like Arc Survival, there's a custom Unreal Engine version just for Unreal Tournament, which gives you access to the items, to the weapons, to enemies, you know, to all sorts of stuff that is that is just to mod a version or a level, I should say, for Unreal Tournament. So I'm going to want you guys to install that also. Now, they do have their own mini marketplace where you can buy uh, stuff or download some free levels. Okay, but it does have some content if you'd like to support them and buy those um, uh, too. Um, so those are your options, okay? Um, but I, yes, like I said, I want you guys to install both Unreal Tournament and Unreal Tournament for um, the latest versions. I believe in this case, the latest version of Unreal Tournament is different, but once you hit launch, you'll see what it looks like once it's installed. It does tell you what version it is. It isn't always aligned to the version of Unreal Engine 4. Uh, just keep that in mind because it is being developed separately. Okay, so as I said before, let's talk about, lastly in this video, how you launch a project. Um, and this part is also fairly simple, but I will kind of help you guys if you have never done this before. So we're just going to click on Launch, okay? Uh, and it will show up here. It will install, if you've already launched it uh, while the computer's been running, it will launch quicker the next time around. Uh, since I've already done that, it's really quick. So it's a little slower, it's just dependent on your computer. Now, there are two tabs at the top. There are projects, so if you have existing projects or you want to add an existing project, like you can go down here and browse and find it on your computer, you can do that. But we're going to do new projects since we shouldn't have a project at all. Okay, and so there's two tabs under these, this uh, new project thing, which is Blueprints and C++. As I explained before, Blueprints is Unreal's visual scripting system. So if you don't know coding, uh, it kind of helps you uh, out. Even if you do know coding, uh, it helps. But if you are really uh, good at C++, you can also use that and so that everything is based on that code. So you can write everything in C++ as opposed to having it all in 
blueprint, but you'll see there's the exact same uh, templates, such as like first person flying puzzles. So you can start in any template that you want, kind of create a game. But for our purposes, we're going to go to first person template. Now let's talk about what each one of these things mean down here. Now the defaults are perfectly fine, so you don't need to change them, but I do want to cover them. Uh, the first one here is your desktop or your uh, console. In this case, it's called the target hardware section. So you can either do desktop, console, and mobile tablet. Then you have your quality settings that you can choose. We're just going to leave it maximum. And then lastly, there's star content. They'll give you some uh, textures. They'll give you some items that you can kind of play around with if you want. Um, if you're starting a new game and you know what you're doing and whatever, you don't want the starter content because you don't want any of their stuff uh, in your game. But because we're going to need it to fool around a little bit, we're going to click on with starter content or just leave that, as I said, default. Now, lastly, this part here. Uh, shows what folder the projects are saved under. So all Unreal projects are defaulted to whatever your user is under Documents and then Unreal Projects. You can change that location. Uh, but also you'll see that you can name the project. The default project is My Project. If you do another one, it'll call it My Project 2, My, My Project 3, so on and so forth. But you can also name it whatever you want also. And then once you've got all that done, you just hit Create Project. And that's basically it as far as this video is concerned. Uh, as you can see here, it's kind of loading in the background once again it might take a while um, this in this case because I've already loaded it it does load up quicker right but this is what the engine looks like in the next video we're going to actually uh, talk about uh, how to use some of the fun uh, functions in the engine uh, but this was the getting started video hopefully you learned a little bit uh, and thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one